you know, the major, the other major core concept is basically, um, like motion, um, and good motion leads to attitude. So this is probably the most important concept if you're going to be like in animation or illustration, or I mean, really having anything to do with like narrative arts. So, um, you know, I've chosen a pose that's kind of got uh, a little bit of attitude going, but we can like exaggerated and so I think exaggeration is kind of your, your friend here um, so when we when we use when we do this we're gonna tilt the head kind of a lot and get the neck going um, and this guy's kind of standing very straight and, and um, upright and he's very he's kind of like very angular um, so we're going to do everything we can to kind of um, get some motion going here. And one of the biggest things we're going to do is take a subtle angle and just exaggerate it a little bit more, right? Change that hip angle a good amount. So essentially what we've done is if we were being very accurate, we'd have um, an angle kind of going like this, um, but we've changed it and the angle is going very differently than before. Um, and so when we carry this out, we're going to want to carry that attitude out through every little, every little detail. So when we get the, the rib cage going, we want to ex exaggerate that, um, that attitude every time we do another movement or add another detail to the pose. And this is going to kind of be a bit like overdone and silly, but you know, I think having expression and attitude kind of also, you know, makes things very clear for people when they look at it. And um, clarity, I think, is a good goal. So I can't really see the feet in the reference, so I'm just kind of making those up. Um, but that's okay. You know, he's got. Um, his hand in his pocket, right? So we're going to bring that down. And make sure that attitude happens, right? And cut off the hand with the pocket, right? And then the other hand's, you know, holding a watch. So here it's kind of all lined up in the photo. So what we need to do is kind of um, bring that out just a little bit. So it's a little more clear so that he's, you know, holding the watch out a little bit. So he's got his pocket watch and it's coming down. So just from that, you can kind of tell like, you know, this guy's waiting for something. He's got an attitude. And that everything we do from there is just going to emphasize that attitude. Um, you know, the facial expression, everything, you know. Um, so when you look at the face, you know, you've got the facial divisions. Make them look like super stern, super serious, whatever. Um, and so on. So you get the idea about attitude, and that comes across in like big motiony sort of poses, but it also comes across in more subtle poses. 